Hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we're playing some more Civ 6. We're continuing our Horse Lord campaign. We're about to declare war on poor old Teddy. You have no idea what's coming to you, dude. Aw, oh, crap. We have to Kase Belly him now? Oh. Oh, okay, and this is only a war more, warmonger penalty light. Sure, sounds good. What's up, America? If I must choose between righteousness and peace, I choose righteousness. That was kind of terrible. Actually, you're choosing death, because I'm going to murder you here pretty quickly. All right, so the plan is nuke this guy down, nuke this guy down, and hopefully, can I actually kill him? No, I was, I was kind of hoping I could kill him that way. Nuke you down. You are now dead. I can't get you there either. Crap. Now, we want to go ahead and beat the crap out of your face. Well, here's a question. Maybe I should just go for this dude. I don't think we're actually gonna be able to kill this warrior. We get plus four because we're flanking. Yeah, we're not actually gonna be able to finish him off. So let's shoot you. How much damage are you gonna do? You're gonna hurt him pretty heavily, but you will not get the kill. So here's the question. Is it better for me to attack with you first or to attack with you first? I think it's better for me to attack with the horseman. 45 damage, oh, that was actually really nice. Maybe we could have gotten the kill off actually. Crap, we probably could have gotten that kill. Hmm. Can I move you anywhere? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> so, you're just gonna hang here for now. Uh, we moved all of you guys as much as I can move any of you right now. America doesn't have walls. This is what I love about this game, like right now, is no one has walls. So I can just like pew 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 down their cities. Uh, can't do anything with you. Have I actually attacked already with all you guys? I think I have. I've attacked with everyone. And you can attack. All right, next turn. Let's see what happens. Kind of more intrigued about what's going to happen up here. I can't do anything with you. Who else needs orders? My ship. That's right. Okay, we actually do see something. Now, this is supposed to be Pangea. So, what the heck is this over here? Please tell me this isn't like... Oh, my God. Is this another freaking landmass? Oh, I'm going to be really kind of pissed, actually, if they're over there. Because there's going to be no easy way for me to get up there. Uh, yo, Settler. Get the heck up there. All right, let's hit next turn. I want to watch here. I want to see what happens. That seemed like a really dumb idea, but okay. I cannot imagine any condition which would cause a ship to founder. Modern. Can I actually... No. So I'm going to take you out with my horsemen. Get back to full HP. Now the goal is to actually... Kill him with my chariot so he gets back to full HP. There you go. Freaking heck! Come on, game! <laughs> oh, that's crap. That's crap. Well, I could kill him, but you're not. I, I, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna leave him there completely surrounded. Oh, geez. Do I need to run? Crap. I need to shoot this guy. He's gonna actually hurt me pretty hard. But we're okay. He's not gonna be able to kill me. He shouldn't be able to one-hit me. Shouldn't be able to one-hit me. Shouldn't, hopefully, be able to one-hit me. I may actually leave this horseman over here just to protect my settler for the time being. Uh... Oh yeah, we're... Oh, we actually got... Oh, we got it without celestial navigation. Oh, okay, cool. So now we can actually um, embark. Let's go ahead and knock out Celestial Navigation for the heck of it. Uh, you are there. How is this looking? Where did the great scientist go? Where where the heck did he go? Did he just use him? Oh. Also, where the heck did this chariot come from? Seriously, where the heck did this chariot come from? Uh, alright. I'm not entirely sure what just happened, but... 
See, I don't see the great scientist up there, so... You're not gonna be able to do enough damage against the city, so yeah. I decided to go explore, just to check it out a little bit more. All right, let's try finishing this stupid city off. What I really want is I want to finish him off with this guy to get him out of um, this open area where that chariot's going to be able to do some pretty decent damage. And now you will get a decisive victory. Boom. Uh, I captured a unit. Oh yeah, I got another settler. <laughs> What's up? Okay, now I think I may actually put the settler down here. Oh crap, they have a freaking... Oh, I... Piss off! <laughs> Stay the heck away from me. Now you, I am actually probably going to leave exactly where you're at. You, I'm going to bring back into the city and skip a turn. I do need to go kill this guy. Um, I may just say screw it, let him run wild and go kill that. I don't know. You can actually go ahead and repair this while you're here. Good job, good job, good job. How the heck? Do, oh, he must have built it. He must have just finished building it, and it popped it way out there. That, that's that got to be what happened. Um, I do need this iron going, though. Can we kill this guy? I don't think so. I, don't, I, I actually don't. Yeah, he's probably going to be able to alert the enemy against me. Hmm. Do we have enough money to purchase something? Can I purchase a warrior? No, I can't because it's freaking swordsman only. And because I don't have iron, I can't actually freaking do that. Now, here's the question. If I purchase this horse archer, am I going to purchase two of them? Nope. <laughs> that sucks. All right. Well, that was a bit of a waste. Um, we actually have a campus here now, so yay us. Let's go ahead first and foremost, though, repair the greenery. Um, we'll repair this stuff, and then we'll go into, uh, uh, um, building new stuff. So, America, I think we're okay here. I'm intrigued to see what the Spearman's gonna do, but he is a little injured, and we are on ideal terrain. I don't think the scout's gonna be able to get away. He might, but whatever. Capture, yeah, okay, we know that. Unit needs orders. Uh, okay, so no landmass. Hmm. Weird. Uh, faced with the threat of invasion, your people are ready to come up. So we got more towards defensive tactics. Well, defensive tactics was like a one-turn thing, so. Nano Madal declared war on Scythia. Aw, oh, dang it. Which one is he? He's this one. Who just became your suzerain? America. Okay, well, he's pretty far away, so I'm okay with that. Uh, someone leveled my warrior who is in the city. Nice. You decided to put yourself in a really bad situation. One, two, three. I think I can finish you off now here. Yep. Boom. And that took us back to full HP because, oh my god, I love the Scythian Empire. Oh, they're so good. Okay, so one, two, three. That's hills, though. So this is gonna be the only spot that's gonna let us actually attack the city. We actually attacked with all of you. Oh, he put the great scientist in the capital. All right. And, oh, freaking hell. I would like to purchase the tile. One, two, three, four. So I have to purchase this one first, and then we can get that one. <sighs> okay, so we may be going for iron up here then. I mean, it's not gonna take too long when we actually get there, but ugh, it's kind of annoying. Okay, so we wanna finish you off to get you back to full HP, please. Although you won't give up to full HP, you're just a hair short. We are now surrounding, or you're now trying to surround us with you. Horseman is going to be able to finish you off. Get you inside the borders. Can't really do anything, so we're just going to take you here. Uh, we're going to go hard on the spearmen. 
Ah, oh, I should have moved this guy here. Dang it. That's all my turns. Oof. He might hurt as well. But we have him trapped now, so he's going to die, which is good. The nice thing is, like, here's the good thing. So let's say, let's say their chariot comes and beats down my horse archer. Let's say both their chariots hit my horse archer and he's a little low. Well, I can have a free unit here I can just kill. That's going to give him a free 50 HP, which is awesome. I love that. It's basically like a free uh, um, upgrade just without the upgrade or a promotion rather. So that's kind of nice. Uh, you, I guess we will go ahead and promote you. And I think I'm going to go this way because I'd rather have Amphibious versus melee and ranged units. I mean, plus seven is just nice though. And yeah, plus seven's really nice. It doesn't help me attacking cities, but we will repair the monument, and hopefully that'll speed up the time in which it'll take us to get there. Uh, you moved into my... They have freaking swordsmen. All right. I was not anticipating that. What, what's their melee damage? They do 35, so... Yeah, may want to avoid them for the time being. That 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 could hurt, especially if they're actually attacking me. Yeah, but see, he didn't get back to their town. Huh. I'm not quite sure why these guys got triggered. We do have a settler here, and I do really want to plant a city over this direction because there's some really good stuff here between the truffles and the fishies. Maybe... Uh... I mean, one, two, three, four. I mean, I guess we'll get the truffles there. One, two, three, four. I guess here is not the worst place for a city. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that. Come plant, like, right here. And then we'll get the iron, like we want. You want us to build a Krugan. You have two builds. Uh, is everything else? No, we still have the, we have the um, sheep over here that need to be built. I really do just want to kind of go towards the iron, though. <laughs> like, I really want my iron depot. I may have to move one of your horse archers back, one of these horse archers back for coverage. Uh, can't do anything with either of you guys, so skip turn. You are my worker. Why did you end up using this tile? Of all the tiles to grow on, that seems like one of the worst ones. Um, two turns until border growth. So we could go ahead. Yeah, but he's got swordsmen right there. That's just, it has me a little worried. Let's go like this direction. Let's skip. You are available for promotion. Okay, my ship. May just want to put on auto explorer at this point. St. Petersburg needs amenities. We know that. Needs food. They're approaching London. Declaration of War. Yeah, we know all of that. All right. <sighs> Next turn. See, I'm actually more worried about the Barbarian Swordsman right now than anything else. And oh, my God. Is a tall ship and a star. Uh. Walls, please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, well, this is going to suck. Okay, so he will not be able... He can attack me with the swordsman, but that's it. So let's just, like, slowly beat down... Oh, God, that did no damage. <laughs> Why? Freaking hell, man. Freaking heck. Oh, uh, builder, we'll move you this way. Can I purchase something else? A slinger? That doesn't help me. An archer would actually be very helpful. Because an archer would do decent damage. Uh, I need my iron. I need iron, like, ASAP, guys. Please. Next turn. Okay. What's What do we got going over here? Chariot actually moved away. I am not going to let you run away, though. I, I cannot let the, the spearmen run away. I'm sorry. Do we want to just crush you? It looks like we can just crush you with my horsemen. Perfect. And you're back at full HP. And then let's go start shooting down New York. 
This is not their capital, but that's fine. And that was all our moves. I unfortunately probably should have used the chariot so we can get you back to full HP, but eh, we'll be okay. Did we attack with you? We did not. So let's move you uh, one, two, three. Let's move you over here and get the shot off. And then we can go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I think I will move you here. Actually, oh, because you went one, two, three. Ah, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And then you can attack here. So that was actually the best uh, uh, option for us to get the most attacks. <sighs> crap. <laughs> so much crap right now, guys. Um. Well, London's gonna get burned. <laughs> but in the scheme of things, yeah. I kind of wish the barbarians could actually take over your town and then, like, set up a new... Like, I wish they would spawn a new civilization. I think that would just be really freaking cool. You know, be like the... Like, especially if you can make it, like, a Germanic tribe or something like that, you know? And that's the only way that those civilizations appear... Uh, is if they're barbarians and they happen to take over someone's capital. But the thing is, I don't think they actually ever take over the capital. I think they just burn everything around you and pretty much leave it at that. So do we just want to, like, say, forget the warrior right now and go for the walls? I think we do. Because here's the problem. Or the worker, rather. The worker's not going to be able to do anything for me because he's going to be stuck in town indefinitely so i think yeah that's our best option we did just build uh, more horsemen what's our money like we're okay i think i need to move my horsemen south i'd like to build some swordsmen but i'm still like what one turn away two turns away from that actually i need a builder up here too do i have a builder up here one turn oh yeah crap <laughs> it's okay guys it's okay we can do this encampment training golden gray general points huh all right Harbor doesn't really help. Commercial hub might help. Ancient walls don't really help. Monument doesn't really help. I think we're going to keep going for units. And I think I'm going to send you guys down to London. Please. Hurry. <laughs> Save me. Save me, please. Uh, ooh, we can do a water mill here. We can also do a library. I think instead... Actually, what did I want to do here? Probably the water mill. We can't actually move you any further. Sounds good. You... I need to turn you on auto-explore. I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, We are still one turn away from being able to build here. So we're just going to skip your turn. I just Here's the problem. If this guy is moving towards me... I'm in trouble. Can I actually hide him, maybe? And then he can't see me? Warrior, we want to move you up here. Did we attack this turn with you guys? Oh, we didn't. Ah, okay. This should be three. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Did we already attack with you? No. One, two. Three. One, two. Boom. That's how you get the most value out of it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to move my warrior. For now. I mean, I won't need two melee units to beat the city down. So. Oh, we could. I suppose I could unlink this and send it over here. It's not like they have walls, so it doesn't really help. But. I just like having it nearby. Maybe I do. I don't know. I mean, we're what? One, two, three. We're only like a couple. Let's put you right here. How about that? Occupied, no growth. Uh, no, sorry. Piss off. I don't want any deal. I'm eliminating you from the game. Oh, God. Scary. What? What just happened? You got promoted. Do we go for New York? Or do we go for the chariot?
I think we're going to try taking him out with our chariot. Man, that actually didn't do any damage. We could really beat him down, though. Yeah, let's do that. And then next turn, we should be able to finish him off and get full HP. Okay. Uh, builder needs to go onto that iron source. You are going to go here and plant the city. You are going to come over to the front line. You are going to... Uh, maybe give me another commercial? Eh, it's going to take a little bit of time. Theater Square. I actually think... Maybe an entertainment complex might not be the worst idea. Well, here's the thing. I'm four turns away from actually production, which is what I want. So if we put an entertainment here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're never going to be able to get there. So we really do need the entertainment like here. A theater just is culture, which whatever. I don't care. An encampment might not be the worst, but I, I think I do want to just save it for the the workshop. So then, what would be most beneficial to have right now? Another builder? We need four turns. We need something for four turns. Maybe we just knock out... Monument. I mean, it's okay. It's not great. Let's do watermill here. Uh, okay. So, he moved in that direction. We can now come here, build my horses. Now I can build horsemen anywhere. Oh god, this is this is this is bad. So he's only gonna be able to get attacked from this guy. Cause it'll take both his turns to move across. So let's do this. Let's go here. And let's come here and get like the double attack off. And we took him down half HP. Hopefully next turn we can actually eliminate him. It's kind of my goal. Um you up here, good sir, we want the granary. When we get our worker high enough, like, in nine turns, we'll probably just purchase that tile. Are you not growing the borders? Huh, so there's no border growth. Yeah, that's interesting. Anyways, so we're going to wrap this episode up now. I think we're at time, correct? Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, go ahead, comment, let me know what you guys think. And as always, hit the subscribe button, join the game comment. We are going to take over New York next episode, most likely, and we should probably be able to uh, uh, take out Ash Ashrakhan and at least eliminate uh, St. Petersburg or Russia at that point. So, anyways, I'll see you guys that episode. Bye!